is a quick and easy tool that lets you easily create diagrams and charts directly in your Notion workspace. And today we're going to look at how you can make pie charts using Mermaid. So the first thing you want to do is you jump on to your Notion workspace and then you want to add what's called a code block. So you can use slash code to get the code block or you see plus arrow and then scroll down until you find code right here. All right, the next step is to make sure that you have mermaid selected here and you can do that so by pressing the button and typing mermaid. And next up, we can create the pie chart. So you write pie and then followed by an enter and a tab. And this lets you input labels and values for those labels. So let's say we want to do this sales by platform. We can then, for example, say Twitter, use a colon, do for 58. Then we're going to use YouTube, a colon, two, three, four. And finally, website and eight, four, three. And just like that, you have a basic pie chart, but we can actually customize this a bit. So after pie, we can do space and then enter title and sales by platform. And boom, you have a title and your pie chart. I'm just going to copy this down here to see how you can customize this even more. So let's say you want to actually show the numbers that you have here and not just a percentage. In that case, you're going to put the title down here. And next to pi, you do show data like this. And as you can see now, you have the little labels next to the different handles. You can see the actual values. But it kind of looks uh, quite boring. So we can do more to add some colors. And for that, we use something called directives or mermaid directives. And they allow us to alter the configuration of the mermaid chart to alter how it looks. So what you do is you go above the pie and you type percent percent and two of these kind of for percentage and again and inside here we're gonna do our config. So we type init colon another two of these squiggly brackets then we do theme colon and here for example we can say default. And there are a couple of different themes that we can use. For example, we can use things called base. We can use forest. We can use dark. Um, and if we want to customize this even more, we can choose base and then actually specify the colors that we want to use. So for that, we do a comma, two of these little things, and then we do theme variables colon, two square glue brackets, and here we can specify each of the pie, kind of each of the pie slices in our pie chart, what we want them to be. So for pie one, you then do a colon and then one of these, and here you can specify the color. And you can use, for example, orange or green or red and all these kind of typical colors. And if you want to add another slice and a color to that one, you just do a comma, pi2, colon, and here you can specify your other color. And of course, you can continue with like green or what you want, or you can actually type a hex value. So for example, 003049, and we get this nice blue color. But you can also use HTML color codes and all their names. So for example, you can say pi3 and wheat, and it recognizes that word. But you can also change the font family. So here I'll paste in one of the basic graphs we just a default. And if you just go right to the end and type font family and a colon, then you can specify a new font family. For example, monospace. You can see we get the monospace. We can also do luminari to get a little kind of scrolls kind of vibe or Arial. You can even use brush script MT to get a bit of cursive style going on. 
And of course, you got the Garamond or Times New Roman if you want the serif fonts. Okay, so lastly, we got different display options. So right, you can see here next to Mermaid, we see that it's split. And that means you both see the code and the diagram at the same time. If you only want to see the code, you can just press here and then the code. Or most commonly, if you want to just uh, show the graph, you can use the preview block. And right there, you just have just a graph that you can display on your Notion pages. And that's it. So now you mastered pie charts in Notion. Let me know what you use it for.